What's up, WWE Games fan? Andy Barbell here from the SmackDown Attack.com. I'm, I'm sitting here actually with uh, the man who removed 450 moves from one game, Brian Williams. Uh, <laughs> hey. Just kidding. Just What's kidding. up, everybody? Just kidding. What's up? I'm here with the, with the main event of the showstopper, the Go Final SmackDown. Actually, WWE Series now. WWE Series. Uh, this is not going to be your regular interview, man. I'm going to ask you tough questions right now. Bring them on, man. I like the tough questions. I like it. I'm not, I'm not scared. Okay. Uh, the first one is to get the bad thing out of the way. Yeah. Basically, a lot of times people uh, get the game, get really pumped about the game, but when they finally get the game, they find something that has been removed or changed for the last, you know. Right. So, straight ahead. Has, has something been removed from the game this year? Uh, anything, the, anything at all? Anything at all. Let me see. Uh, let me think. I can, I, can, I can say off the top of my head, uh -huh. off top, we did not remove any moves okay. this year. Okay. Uh, let me see. We did remove some. Oh, yes, we did, actually. We did. Uh, ultimate control grapples. Yeah, I heard about that. Are gone. Uh, some environmental grapples are gone. Okay. Not all of them. Okay. Some. Uh, and that's really about it. You know, we just you no know, game modes, no no changes, no, no nothing. Same match type. We didn't remove anything as far as the, the moves, the matches. Uh, none of that stuff was removed. Uh, if anything, we just added, you know, or improved upon okay. what was there already. Nice. Uh, I already saw that in the Billboard frame right now, but uh, the reversal inside the chain grab. Yeah. This, is this finally been fixed, right? This has finally been fixed, and I apologize to everybody out there who had to suffer through that. Honestly, it was like a game-breaking bug that was in there last year. Like playing against another person, like, I don't know, I was just livid that that had made it into the final game. So I, I, on behalf of myself and everybody who worked on the games, like, just I'm going to send an apology to everybody out there. But it is fixed. So is... Oh man, it's so embarrassing. But so is, you know, uh, in last year's game, there was a bug that prevented you from running on the apron and doing oh, the to, running. To do the jumping from the yeah, the strike. So, oh man, I was so I was so pissed off when I saw that. But that's fixed. Oh, also. Yes. And I'm gonna ensure every time we get a new build, I check everything to make sure that everything is working as it should. So. Cool. Uh, the new mode introduced in this year's game is Crazy Arena. We just yes. show a sneak peek of it. It's really, really cool. Uh, uh, one question: Can we use uh, the Crazy Arena uh, in online matches? Uh, unfortunately, no. You cannot use them in online matches. But, and I know that's disappointing to a lot of people out there. Disappointing to myself. But the one thing you can do, at least, you know, to kind of put a silver lining on it, is that you can uh, upload them uh, via community okay. creators and download them. So, okay. if you create a really cool looking arena. You can say, Brian, hey, you gotta check out my arena, download a few creations. I can take yours, you can take mine. So there is that sharing aspect of it. Okay, cool. So, and I, and I guarantee there's gonna be like just a ton of awesome arenas that people put up online. Alright. Uh, into the gameplay now. Yes. We saw the new position, uh, for example, for the pound kick. You can do the pound kick actually uh, starting from the corner. Right. How is the reversal gonna work for that? Well, for example, the 619, I saw the new position for the 619 as well. How are the reversal going to work for this? It starts, uh, like the punt kick for example, it's it's hard, I'm not going to lie to you. You have to essentially kind of guess when the attacker initiates the, uh, the finisher. Uh, but we do have, you know, brand new uh, reversals for the 619 and the punt kick. And, uh, you know, sweet chin music, which is another move that's performed. So the reversal is not in the point of impact? It's not. It's, it's at the point of the trigger, of when you actually perform the, uh, the finisher. Okay. Uh, as far as the dynamic countbacks, can we choose the keep up animation we're gonna have in our dynamic countback? And can we choose if at the end of the combo we want to have a signature or a finisher? Uh, the way it works, well, you know, no and yes. Uh, you can't choose the keep up motions. Okay. Uh, we have two, we have, you know, we have keep up motions, but we do have some that are specific to certain characters, like uh, HBK, for example, and The Rock, when they do, if they do their kip, their, uh, their comeback, they will do their, their, their kip up that they, that they normally do, yeah. Uh, Kane and Undertaker will do their Dead Man, you know, Rise motion, but for guys like, you know, uh, Dan O'Brien, uh, Edge. Does he have his comeback? Dan O'Brien? Yeah. Of course. Does he have the, the spin from the throw buckle and then the suicide dive? Uh, well, no, the suicide dive isn't part of it. He had the suicide dive in his uh, moveset. Okay. But no, his uh, his comeback, you know, he does a flip and the turnbuckle, ducks the guy's clothesline, hits the other rope, and then hits him with the uh, flying awesome, elbow. Awesome. But, but to ask to your, to, to your second point about whether or not you can do a signature at the end or a finisher, it's up to you. Because if you perform the comeback successfully, it automatically puts you in position for you to hit your uh, signature move. 
But if you don't want to do your signature, all you have to do is just store it automatically by clicking the right stick, and it grants you your uh, your finishers. Perfect. You can go right into it. Uh, this year, can we place a ladder between the apron ring and the barricade to kill our opponent? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I want that in there so bad, also. But uh, no, unfortunately, no. You cannot do that in this year's game. But I'm looking forward to get that in there. I really am. Because okay, I, I definitely want to do a, a, a power bomb, sitting you know, like at the Money in the Bank. Yeah, with Seamus. Seamus power bomb, seen Car through there and put him out for for, for a while. That's a, that's a really cool thing to have. Uh, okay, uh, we learned that the button mashing option is gone from the pin system, right? Now we only have the hold option, right? It's just the hold option, yeah. But we do have the old school non HUD option that okay, you can okay. use. Uh, but for example, uh, do you ever think of that about online? Uh, it could be difficult to kick out of the simple spin attempt because of lag, because uh, with all we don't know. That is, that, that was a concern. Uh, but we are you know, doing our best to address that lag. Uh, we played. I played a match about a week ago uh, with some with some coworkers, just you know, in, in the office, you know, testing out that and some other things online, and it was working. It was working well. So you know, we just got to make sure that it it doesn't drop or falter by the time from today to when we release the game. But that is something that we are definitely keenly aware of, and we don't want to have that you know break the game. We, we've also uh, finally, like anybody out there who, who plays the game with those turbo controllers, yeah. you guys are not going to have that advantage anymore. We finally put the nail. In the coffin on that for one. the breaking submission system. As yes, well. for every for anything that involves button mashing in the game, we finally put a stop to that. The game can detect those uh, illegal in button inputs, so no more cheating out there, you guys. As far as the AI, the pin system, uh, is the AI kicking out more right now? He is definitely kicking out more, and I know that was uh, uh, it was essentially just a bug in last year's game where the AI, for whatever reason, and, and it wasn't all the time. But there were situations where the AI, like you could, you could beat him off of like a chain grab, yeah. like uh, an arm drag, and he just would not kick out. Yeah, in so, my opinion, uh, no move should get a pin for unless it's a finisher, a signature, or uh, a leverage pin. Maybe. Leverage pin, yeah. All the other moves, all the other pin attempts should not ever, ever, ever get a three count. Yeah, no, I, I agree, and I think we've done a really good job balancing that this year. Uh, I mean, you'll see once you play more of it, uh, but the AI is definitely a lot more. Not, I mean, not only are they smarter at kicking out, they're just a lot more aggressive. Uh, and, not, and, and by aggressive, I don't mean just that they reverse more. Like, you, they, you can tell when you play against the AI on hard, on legend, that they're coming at you with a purpose. And uh, that's one thing I will say, you know, give props to uh, one of our new designers, Jason Vandiver. He was working with Yukes on the AI and did a great job of tuning that, especially the kickouts, because we all know how much that was just awful in last year's game. All right. Uh, what has been done to improve manager's AI? Oh, we have a brand new manager system. Uh, we've updated, I mean, essentially we kind of just, it's, it's all new, uh, from the controls, which there really are none. You basically kind of, if you want, you can you can grab your manager, your manager, uh, and get assistance from him, encouragement, and by doing that, he'll kind of give you a little pep talk, and will add to your momentum meter, uh, and at the same time, the enemy managers, they'll kind of, they're just more active, like they'll stand up on the apron, and kind of walk around. Uh, just an example of one thing you can do with the manager this year is, if your manager, like say I'm CM Punk and I might have you know the Miz whatever reason my manager. If I see him on the apron, if I Irish whip my opponent towards him, he'll lower the rope and cause my opponent to duck out of the ring, so I can take time to gloat, you know, kind of build up my, my momentum meter by taunting. Uh, and conversely, if you Irish whip you know your opponent towards their manager, it'll cause them to fly off and hit the uh, the barricade, and then you know kind of get them out of sorts. So you can you know, focus your attention on on that superstar, on that opponent. Okay, uh, last year also with the, with the managers, uh, if uh, we, we were going for a pinfall, uh, your manager will try to interfere to uh, distract the referee, but the referee will distract himself even if the, the manager was down the mat uh, outside the ring and will just wait for the manager to get back up yeah. and distract him and to do it again. Uh, without counting the pinfall. Yeah. yeah, that has been, that was a bug and it has okay. been fixed. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm on camera saying it has been fixed. I, verif you heard it? You heard I verified it myself a couple weeks ago. It has right. been fixed. Uh, now into creative moves. Uh, yeah. Last year there were a lot of moves to choose uh, for the four strong grapples, right. but there were just little moves, a uh, little amount of moves to choose from for the weak grapple. Right. Yeah. Oh, good question, man. That is a, Ooh, a, much, question, a, that is a, a much larger, a much larger. Very, very. We basically added. I mean, it's. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The, uh, the the moves that were available for the chain grapples, 
was minuscule. We're just weak. They were weak. And it made it seem as though everybody had the same type of moveset because there was only so many moves available. That is no longer the case this year. Uh, we've added to, to that moveset by roughly more than half. So I think when anybody, when you guys get the game, I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll notice for yourself, like we've, we've more than doubled the amount of moves that are available for chain grabbers. So a very good question, glad you asked that. Okay, can we look forward to something new in Super Star Trek? Like, for example, anything and Transit Attack? Uh, as far as the Superstar Threads, we didn't do so much uh, in that part of the game for improvements. Uh, anybody who has an inch of the tire that can be used in gameplay, you can change. Uh, but for example, last year, if you edited John Cena's uh, armbands in, with the in-ring attire, it would come out anyway with the powerful show. Right, right. Uh, so we have situations where it's, it'll still be like that to a certain extent. Like, there are some characters, I'm trying to think, uh, like Zack Ryder. You know, uh, um, which I'm wearing the shoe, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you are. Uh, so Zack Ryder, you know, we have him. We have one with, you know, you can unlock his headband where he comes out and essentially his headband. If you and because that headband can be used during the match, if you go ahead and change the color of the headband with his attire, that will make it into the uh, actual in-game portion. So there are some instances like that, but so for example, if you want John Cena to come out with a proper shirt, you need to use the the shirt in the in the way. Exactly. Exactly. Basically, like last, like last year. Like last year. Okay. Uh, Sorry, guys. Are we going to be able to keep our advanced entrance when we win a championship, or if we revert to to choosing a preset championship? It'll be it'll it'll be that preset championship. And I know a lot of people don't like that, but it's one of those things where it's like Can you we have to the, accommodate the title on the on the waist. Uh, can we keep it the same entrance? Oh yeah, if you choose that, you can. Well, if, if you have if you have a, if you have a title and you if you have it on the race, it should play your custom entries. I'll have to I'll have to get back with you on that. I don't want to promise or say anything and be on the record saying, oh Brian said this. So let me find out and I'll shoot you an email and you can add it to uh, the website. About creative entrances, uh, any chance to see uh, in the future advanced tag team entrances? I definitely want to see that. Uh, we didn't do that this year, but that's a really good idea and it's something that something that I see as far as you know the growth of creative entrance is being able to really break out the tag team entrance and really be able to customize every part of that just like you do a singles a superstars entrance so hopefully we get around to doing that sooner rather than later all right uh, now into the biggest part of the game to me at least yeah. online uh, what company is taking care of the online server is it still GameSpy this year uh, we are not using GameSpy this year we are using our uh, own internal okay. uh, server this year so so no more GameSpy uh, and we're working you know we're working hard to try to improve the online experience. I mean, we. I feel like every year, like I, I, I do these interviews and I, I, you know, say you know we're making improvements to the online experience, and we do. But I don't know things break, and you know there are just certain certain things that are outside of our control that we're not able to to fully you know handle. But this year, I mean, with us handling this on our own, I think we're definitely going to have a well. I mean, we can't get worse than we did last year. We're going to have a much. A, well, a much well, last better. year was way better than. Yeah, it was. All right. Well, see, there you go. So we yeah. make we make growth. Yeah, it's just was. those bugs that are online that people exploit. Yeah, exactly. That ruin the experience for those people who just want to go on and just play the game. Yeah, as far as lag wise, it was way better. Yeah, than yeah. But the and that's the thing. It's like you fix the lag, but then you still have those cheaters out there who exploit. You know. Shame either. on you. Shame on you guys. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with that this year. We've got we had because thanks to you and thanks to a lot of other people that have sent us in uh, online exploits. We've really, you know, been really doing a good job of, you know, crushing those bugs and fixing those bugs, like Triple H's uh, jumping knee, that running knee, uh, just a whole bunch of things. And you told me some stuff today, which we hadn't heard of, that I'm gonna get to our QA department first thing Monday so they can bug that to make sure that gets addressed also. So, okay, uh, always uh, as far as online, is Match Creator going to be usable online? This year? You guys will just have to wait and see. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm okay. sorry. Okay. I don't want I don't want I don't want Jamie Jensen or any of the marketing PR people to kill me. You know I gotta right, gotta say right. some things for later on. All right. Uh, in previous years, Road to WrestleMania, we got some exclusive matches, like for example, I Quit match, yeah. special referee match. That were done pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, why they didn't make the full game in exhibition, and will they be in exhibition this year? What the I Quit match? Or? Uh, especially I care for the special referee, but also yeah, the I Quit. Yeah, I know you're a big you're a big fan. You're, you're really big on the special referee. Uh, there will be, I guess there's one, but I'm not sure if I can announce it just yet. I hope it's the, the special referee one. I can't, I can't say or, or deny that. I, 
Or maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to think of whether or not we can talk about this right now. I better just not say anything. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. We'll <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, uh, as matches, again, as far as matches. Uh, false count anywhere. Yes. Basically, it, it's been like three years that you guys are saying in the near future we're going to have interconnectivity with Backstage. Backstage. Is the near future coming and time, and time soon? It is coming soon, and I know we, we have said that for a while. It's just a really big undertaking, and it's, we actually wanted to do it this year, but you know, with us coming out every year, I mean, our, our, our development cycle is not that big, and to do something as grand as the interconnected Backstage areas, you know, because we want, we want to do it the right way. We don't want to do it where it's like, oh, you know, there's like a 30-second load into the next thing, you know. Just like we were talking about earlier about the tables and being able to stand up on the tables. You know, we don't want to bring back the functionality if it hasn't been fixed. Okay. The same thing with this. But it, but you guys will definitely be seeing this uh, a lot sooner rather than later. Okay, this you won't have to wait too much longer. For okay, this is a question that a lot of people requested. Uh, are we going to see... Uh, custom championship winning scene for, for Superstar, like for example The Undertaker uh, last year was jumping around like a little girl when he, when he won the title. Yeah. Uh, are we going to see custom championship winning scene? We have, we have a few, but we don't have them for everybody. Okay. Uh, but we are trying to take care of those situations that you just described about how, because the game essentially will just kind of randomly use a yeah. victory scene. So for certain characters it works, but for like, like you said, a Kane and Undertaker, um, it doesn't fit. It, it does. Doesn't it doesn't fit. fit their character. So we're trying. So for those guys, those special cases, we are trying to mitigate that so that these guys aren't doing. Maybe something you could get something like themselves. super heavyweight winning scene, heavyweight winning scene, light heavyweight. Just yeah, that's a good idea. Just segment them off that way. Yeah. All right. Um, I know you can talk about WWE Universe yet, but to me, one of the issues was that it was tied to exhibition. Uh, have you ever thought of making it a standalone mode so we can have? Uh, exhibition without restriction, without uh, without uh, you know stables restriction or title defending restriction in exhibition. Uh, well, two things. Uh, one in, La in in SBR 11, there was a way you could turn it off. With the right stick. Uh, yeah, but uh, it, would, it would turn back on automatically. Like it that. did, yeah, it did turn back on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you and couldn't define the titles anyway. When you could, so. yeah, yeah, you could. Uh, and the next point about whether or not it is on mode, I like you said, I cannot talk about or get into our universe okay. offering just yet. But once we do, I will definitely answer your question. Final last question. Yes. Will there be uh, a mode in which you play a CM Punk? And you get to pledge to to force people to pledge on the end to the three that's society. <laughs> and if there. they don't, you you can shave their hair. <laughs> then that's a good idea. No. Oh man, get, we the, get in the game next next year. Yeah, we'll definitely get that in the game. <laughs> I don't care even if it's out of date. That's just too cool not to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, man. Uh, thank you for uh, for your time. Thank you, man. It's, it's good to do this finally.